Picture Description Explaining pictures during pilot and controller tests in English is an important skill for evaluating flight safety and communication. These images can sometimes represent accidents, bad weather, or more mundane situations. But no matter what, you can use a process to describe any image. In this presentation, we will present a simple process you can use to explain any type of visual. By taking an example situation, we will try to explain the process you can use in image descriptions by giving a step-by-step -step example. Step 1, Summarize the picture in one sentence. Before diving into the description, start by summarizing the picture in one sentence. In this sentence, provide only the most crucial information. For instance, this is a picture showing a Boeing 737 excursion of the runway after poor braking conditions caused by heavy rain. Or, this is an image illustrating adverse weather conditions at an airport. Step 2. Describe the details of the picture. In the second step, begin to describe the details of the picture. Start with the most important details and then list the less significant ones. During this stage, strive to diversify your vocabulary by using various terms and expressions. For example, when describing an accident scene, you can elaborate on the positions of vehicles, the condition of the injured, and other critical elements present. This step offers an opportunity to showcase your language skills to the examiners. This is a picture showing a Boeing 737 excursion of the runway after poor braking conditions caused by heavy rain. As can be seen from the picture, we see that the plane could not stop at the end of the runway in use during the landing run and fell into a puddle. The aircraft appears to be extensively damaged and three life rafts are seen in the water around the aircraft. It is understood from the traces inside the runway and on the dirt ground that the flight crew braked the plane to stop it at the end of the runway. The plane went off the runway and had to make a forced landing in the water. It can be seen that the right and left front doors and the emergency exit doors on the wing were used during the emergency evacuation of the plane immediately after the accident. Although this picture shows that the weather is clear and partly cloudy, I think there was a heavy rainstorm at the time the accident occurred. Step 3, Make Inferences About Unseen Details In the third step, Contemplate details that are not visible in the picture but can be inferred logically. This is the stage where you need to employ speculative language. For instance, you can make educated guesses about the whereabouts and emotions of passengers, speculate on the cause of the incident or event, and predict what might happen next. You can also consider how the weather influenced the situation and how the described scenario will impact the surrounding area typically an airport. This process can assist you in describing pictures of all kinds more effectively and confidently. However, remember that practice is essential while applying this process. Through practice, you can learn to describe pictures more efficiently and improve your performance in exams. Now let's go back to the picture description where we left off. A runway excursion occurs when an aircraft departs the runway in use during the takeoff or landing run. A landing aircraft is unable to stop before the end of the designated runway is reached. Runway excursion may have occurred because the flight crew did not follow procedures such as maintaining an unstable approach, landing the aircraft at excessive approach speed, and delaying the deployment of the speed brakes. The airplane still would not have stopped on the ungrooved runway because the rainfall rates and runway characteristics contributed to water depths that caused the aircraft to hydroplane. The reason for an aircraft taking off or landing to leave the runway edge may be loss of directional control due to the effects of aquaplaning. In runway excursion accidents, it is a known requirement that the tower cannot provide adequate guidance to the flight crew in evaluating braking conditions for landing on wet or dirty runways. Summary In conclusion, a well structured and organized speech increases the likelihood of success in the examination. It serves to eliminate confusion by adhering to a clear, guiding framework from beginning to end. Initially, Focus on an image and allocate a brief moment for idea gathering, 
subsequently, describe the image with factual precision, supported by the present continuous tense, for example, she is bending down and holding her knees. Subsequently, employ diverse tenses to engage in speculation, for example, she's in her late thirties, and consider the possible events in the past, for example, it could have been a terrorist attack, and how they may shape the future, in my view. Such situations should be preemptively addressed in the future through enhanced security measures implemented by airport personnel. Embrace a variance in tenses. Avoid rigidly adhering to a singular structure, as monotony can hinder effective communication. It is more prudent to invest effort in leaving a lasting, positive impression rather than abstaining from trying at all. Additionally, it is essential to acknowledge that nonverbal communication significantly contributes to the overall impression of the candidate. Courteous behavior and a warm demeanor, including a smile toward the examiners, are imperative. As a result, the image description can be explained fluently in a conversational format. Again, we can create it like this. This is a picture showing a Boeing 737 excursion of the runway after poor braking conditions caused by heavy rain. As can be seen from the picture, we see that the plane could not stop at the end of the runway in use during the landing run and fell into a puddle. The aircraft appears to be extensively damaged and three life rafts are seen in the water around the aircraft. It is understood from the traces inside the runway and on the dirt ground that the flight crew braked the plane to stop it at the end of the runway. The plane went off the runway and had to make a forced landing in the water. It can be seen that the right and left front doors and the emergency exit doors on the wing were used during the emergency evacuation of the plane immediately after the accident. Although this picture shows that the weather is clear and partly cloudy, I think there was a heavy rainstorm at the time the accident occurred. A runway excursion occurs when an aircraft departs the runway in use during the takeoff or landing run. A landing aircraft is unable to stop before the end of the designated runway is reached. Runway excursion may have occurred because the flight crew did not follow procedures such as maintaining an unstable approach, landing the aircraft at excessive approach speed and delaying the deployment of the speed brakes. The airplane still would not have stopped on the ungrooved runway because the rainfall rates and runway characteristics contributed to water depths that caused the aircraft to hydroplane. The reason for an aircraft taking off or landing to leave the runway edge may be loss of directional control due to the effects of aquaplaning. In runway excursion accidents, it is a known requirement that the tower cannot provide adequate guidance to the flight crew in evaluating braking conditions for landing on wet or dirty runways.